Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use the app for LogMeIn. Um, I'll open it here. LogMeIn is basically a way to access your desktop computer from any mobile device, from the web, from your phone, from your tablet, etc. It has a lot of useful applications. It isn't necessarily for working directly, and I'll show you that, but a way just to uh, log in to get a file, to make a quick change, etc. So when you click on the app, it'll give you an option for all the different computers that you have already set up and to get LogMeIn set up you want to go to their web version and create an account and then you log that information into your iPad so that you have a secure and this is a free um, app and it's a free web application so uh, it makes it very easy to use so I basically want to click on this and tell it that I'd like to access my computer. I've already put in my uh, username and password to log this in and it has remembered that. So it asks me if I if it wants a login. I say yes please. And you can see this goes right to uh, my desktop at my computer. So it's got a little mouse here um, that you can utilize to close things, to move around, etc. And for instance if I have let's say forgotten a document that I need off my desktop desktop and I'm at a meeting or I'm somewhere else, I can log in here and I can go find that document and put it in something like my Dropbox account for instance that you can watch our video on and see the utility of that. Dropbox allows the, the transfer of files from let's say my iPad onto a desktop onto a um, any kind of an internet connection where I can get on the web. I can access files anywhere at any time from there. So you can see for instance, let's say I've forgotten this Word document, I can open it up and I can see what that looks like. You can edit this just like you would any document. At the bottom here you can see there's a little keyboard icon and I would just click that and then I can um, add to this document etc. So you can do some mild work here and, and formatting and that's fine. It is a little bit slow and the resolution isn't fantastic which is why you don't want to use this as a way to work long term. But you could do some short term edits um, etc. You This works exactly like it would if I was on my desktop. Once I'm done there I can go up and save that. Once that document is saved, um, and you can see there's a little bit of a lag time here, uh, I will go up and close that document. I've got another one open there. And then what I can do is I can copy that and I can take it up to my Dropbox. So you can always just drag and drop this right into the file that's on your desktop. You can do it this way depending on how you have your uh, file set up. So I want to go in my weight examples and now I just paste that. So you can kind of see how that's working as it goes through and now that's in there and it's popped up in my Dropbox. So if I'm somewhere with an internet connection I can access that. If I'm working from home which is another really great way to use this and I've forgotten a file at work I can just drop it in my Dropbox, open it and uh, in there at home, work on it, put it back in my Dropbox file and it's back on my desktop at work. So again uh, you can watch the Dropbox file or movie on how to utilize that effectively. So uh, once uh, I'm done here, I'm done here and I will just go down uh, to the bottom. You can see the X down here and that means log out. I want to end that session. Always end your session such that uh, you don't have this running in the background and for security reasons. And then you can also see if I was somewhere off my desktop I could access this remotely so this is just using Firefox uh, just a, any type of browser you can I can connect uh, as well this way so that I can access my desktop here and do the same thing I just did on my iPad. So this uh, app has a lot of different uh, utilities. So you can see it's again it's a little bit more grainy and a little more challenging to see but uh, but you can see it. And so that is the use and effectiveness of uh, LogMeIn. For more questions you can contact us or check out LogMeIn.com. Thanks.